Gear. 8 Booth jumps from 129 feet in the air. If any part of his body had so much as graced the pier, then that would have been the end of 8 Booth, and that's assuming that he could have gotten out of the water in time. Apparently caught an apparition going to the neighbor's house, going left to right by the trash cans, and in the middle of the driveway, this figure or apparition a ghost sighting caught on a home security camera as a small neighborhood in Paragold, Arkansas worried something paranormal is on their block. There it is. Walking. No legs. And she disappears. The mysterious figure never returns after its disappearing act. It's not a neighbor, they say, because the neighbors were on vacation. They've never caught any other weird things on camera since and other than that one night. The home security system seems to work fine. I guess there is a chance that this could be a technical malfunction, but to them it's a scary ghost video that's actually real. Having seen all of the evidence yourself, Tell me if this video is paranormal. I think it could be a glitch, but I don't have the technical know-how to properly back up that explanation. Jinn are intelligent spirits from Arabian mythology that have the mysterious ability to possess humans. And according to this video, they take that mysterious ability to the next level, which is apparently ninja-based. Published to YouTube by Deranged Sajib in September of 2020, the scary possession has this man's limbs into something like a crab. <coughs> The man is captured on video doing a creepy crab walk backwards and forwards across the floor as a holy man stands over him, attempting to exorcise him of the jinn. The man keeps low to the ground, smacking his palms to the floor with his fingers bent upwards. He speaks to the holy man in a haunting, possessed rasp. <laughs> Although the clip cuts out before we can see whether the man was freed of his possession, many in the comments note that the spirit who possessed him seemed like a ninja jinn. Well, I don't know about that. If it was the case, though, the man is acquiring these skills, even if only via a spirit taking over his body. Everyone likes a good bedtime story, but what if the entity who tucks you in is a ghost? A viral Reddit post appears to show this intriguing episode caught on webcam. Redditor Cheyenne Rochelle wrote, My dad has been feeling his sheets being messed up with, and someone's sitting on his bed in the night so he set up a camera. Look at the sheets lifting up and what comes out of the side of it. It like dissolves into thin air. The creepy footage does appear to reveal what Cheyenne describes, the ghost that's been haunting them. As Cheyenne's father sleeps, the sheets creep up at one corner. Then what appears to be the head of an apparition shows itself before vanishing. As the sheet drops back to the bed, those who believe are all in with a paranormal hook, line, and sinker, with one Redditor saying, he might as well just go ahead and throw the whole house away. What do you think? Can you explain this? A few have tried on Reddit, but with nothing concrete, it remains unexplained. Sound in the absence of sight can be seriously alarming. This video shows just how frightening it can feel to hear something you cannot see. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Camilla Rose 529 the Redditor explains that she and a friend were cleaning a house when they heard this incredible mayhem outside. Yeah, what was that? Oh, this is freaking me out. They went out to see what was causing all the ruckus. The sound fills up all airspace outside. Though garbled, it sounds a bit like a jet flying overhead. A moment later, however, this terrifying roar blows your eardrums out. Maybe not a jet, perhaps a literal monster. Yeah. What was that? Oh, this is freaking me out. 
Camilla writes, We called the police and they were unable to give us any information about what was going on around us and never went back to that house again. Redditor Paranormal Psychic notes in the comments, There have been multiple eerie sounds coming seemingly from either the woods or the sky itself, usually music, horns, or even screaming. First time I've ever heard growling. Is this a growl? If not, what is it? It certainly doesn't sound human. <laughs> While exploring this haunted asylum, the shifting energy is unsettling. Listen closely and you might catch all the oddities and EVPs in this haunted place. As the crew first enters the dark hallway, a strange sound is recorded. And another as they enter a larger room. They get a spooky feeling by this door, and they capture an energy here. The EMF meter keeps going off in the same area. What is in this room? Whatever it is, I think it doesn't want to fully reveal itself. Look over your shoulder. When you're walking down the street at night, that's not paranoia. It's possible you're being followed. As this footage shows, CCTV footage captured just that through Plymouth streets at night in the UK. The 19-year-old Italian woman had just returned to Plymouth from a Christmas break home in Italy when a man allegedly follows her through the streets for several minutes, walking just feet behind her. Police compared it to a scene from the BBC drama Luther, with one officer saying, This was an extremely disturbing case in a dark, deserted city centre. Witnesses confirmed that the woman screamed, which spooked the suspect into fleeing the scene. There was also a good Samaritan on site who helped her. The fact this took place in such a public place is certainly haunting. Redditor asserted skirted motion-activated cameras detected motion in the middle of the night, but it isn't something I've ever seen before. Keep an eye on the bottom of the garage door. Here it is again, more slowly. Something appears to slip beneath the garage door, but it looks like a shadow. My guess would be that this is an unknown shadow entity. The way the shadow reaches out is even tentacle-like. What do you think it is? This ladder is walking down the driveway. No one's touching it, no one's around it, and it's actually walking down the driveway. That's the reaction of Tony Dode as he videotapes a walking ladder on its own. The ladder clatters down the driveway as if someone is guiding it in short steps, but nobody is near. If you have any possible explanations for this, or have seen this before with your own eyes, then please share your experience. If no one has a proper explanation, then this is one of the most perplexing videos I think I've analyzed on this channel to date. Back in 1993, this TikToker's father took a video on a sharp camcorder. She thinks he captured a ghost. Posted on TikTok by Olivia Bishop, the mysterious video shows a child at play while her parents watch. For all those Gen Z's out there, this is a camcorder. We'd set it up, press record, and go about our day. I don't know why, it was just a 90s thing. And just so you guys know, we've had a ghost in every house that we've lived in, so that's why I found this very intriguing. Go ahead and watch that pumpkin in the left-hand corner, and let me know what you think. A small plastic pumpkin sits at the end of a slide near the camcorder. After a moment, it rolls across the floor on its own for no discernible reason. Some in the comments note that the baby looks over at the pumpkin at the exact moment, like she senses something is there. Olivia claims to have had a ghost in every house they've lived in. Is this one of them? It appears that's the case. Up a long forest mountain path is an abandoned house near the Chinese city of Chengdu that is said to be haunted. An explorer named the Sneezing Monkey travels to the fabled house to see if anything paranormal is there. 
There's not much left inside, but he does find an old book that he seems particularly interested in. At 2 minutes and 6 seconds, it almost looks like it gets slapped out of his hands by a possible ghost, but he could have dropped it too. Tell me what these pages say. For some reason, he seems to feel it's interesting enough to show the camera. Not much else happens, and just when I was doubting this house was haunted, I hear this. He's looking at some kind of fire pit or something and hears a noise. He looks up and hears it again coming from the attic. He doesn't stick around for long and wisely decides to leave. Ben of the YouTube channel Laney and Ben says paranormal events still occur in their forever haunted home. Here's a quick update of some of those events. First, a cup trick. Followed by the opening of kitchen drawers. Watch the silverware closely. Things get even more dangerous in another video. And the kitchen soon devolves into this madness. It doesn't appear that Laney and Ben's poltergeists are fading anytime soon. In fact, the last video makes me think their powers are only getting stronger. It's 3 in the morning when Daniel, Christiansen's dog, begins growling and the bedroom door swings open. Daniel is staring into the dark hallway while recording with his camera, waiting for something to happen. What a trip. Here you can see what could be the head, shoulders, and left arm of a shadow person. It's towards the corner of the room on the right hand side. Let me know if you see it. Then the shadow appears again, much closer this time. It's way too dark though, so I can't tell for sure if it's a shadow or just his thumb. You're a thrill seeker visiting Zambia, and you aren't too afraid of death-defying heights and rushing water. Then visit the Devil's Pool at Victoria Falls. The Devil's Pool is situated on the edge of the 354-foot waterfall on the border of Zimbabwe and Zambia. The width of the 5,604 feet and height combined make Victoria the world's largest sheet of falling water, and at the top of this sheet is something known as the armchair, a natural pool of water along the edge of the Zambian side. This rock barrier forms the Devil's Pool, creating an eddy whose gentle current makes the water safe enough to swim in, but still risky enough where you might tumble over the edge and 354 feet below to your death. Granted, most people stay a safe distance from the cascading falls, but there have been fatalities in the past, which begs the question, why would you want to swim in this pool? This clip shows just how close visitors get to sliding right over Victoria Falls. The uploader, John Watson, lays on his chest peering over the edge with his arms out like he's flying, while the water in the armchair appears to be just trickling over. The water about six feet to his right is rushing. John notes that this is one of the scariest but most amazing things he's ever done. What's even scarier is the man standing on the edge of Victoria to take the swimmer's photos. It's only a matter of inches between the adventurer being alive and safe in the water and plummeting to the bottom of Victoria Falls. While the pics and video look incredible and bragworthy, I'm not sure it's worth the risk. This video was published to YouTube in July of 2007 with the title, Dragon Was Caught Sight Of By Infrared Rays. This video appears to show the ghostly smoky figure of a long creature fly through the air from the top to the bottom of the frame. Modern scholars suggest that crocodiles might be the closest to resemble a dragon, 
and maybe what informed its imagery, or maybe this creature is something else completely and just somewhat resembles a dragon. Nothing else like this has been caught on the security camera since. Barack Alie offers this video as proof that his house is haunted, but maybe there is more to it than that. Listen to this part and tell me if you can hear a fan, or some kind of air current, or really anything that could be causing the door to slam like this. I've seen a draft cause a door to slam shut one time, but never over and over. Have you? Barack records the top and bottom of the door to show that no one is near it, so this absolutely has to be a one in a million problem with the ventilation system, or else the supernatural at work. The San Antonio Cemetery in Texas could be one of the scariest places in the world to go exploring if this video is real. A ghost hunter from the Paranormal Journal stands in total darkness when some creepy things are caught on camera and despite the lack of light, what he experiences is downright terrifying. His paranormal equipment detects movement and then a single word crackles across the spirit box in an odd staticky voice. He never shows us exactly where he positioned the motion detection equipment, so it could be detecting his movement or a gust of wind for all we know. But here's something weird. If you look closely, there is a strange phantom light at 29 seconds, the same moment that the motion detection alarm goes off that soon fades away. I would say there's another investigator, but I think that he might have been exploring the haunted cemetery all alone that night. If so, I have no idea what this light is, and even if it was a member of his team, that still doesn't explain the odd voice moments later that says hello. A YouTuber named Dillionaire Vlogs is trying his hardest to summon a ghost, and he won't take no for an answer. First, he tries to command the supernatural by force, then he makes fun of them and does whatever else he can think of to get any kind of reaction. Where are the demons at, man? This was taken in 2017 during Irma, and Dillionaire hopes that the electrified atmosphere will somehow help the spirit world connect with his own. Apparently, it works. The camera falls over by itself, and a voice that sounds like Dillionaire clearly says, I'm here. Hello? Anyone here? Dillionaire claims that he was possessed during this part, and made to say this against his will, though I'm not so sure about that. Then again, 134 people lost their lives during Irma, so it wouldn't really surprise me if one of them really did use his body as a conduit to say hello. A YouTuber named Nicholas Asher is recording his two children when they nearly get more than just a little rain. Whoa! Holy sh Okay. The lightning bolt hurtles down towards the kids and lands over in the next yard from the sound of it. They quickly scatter to safety into the garage. This father and son paranormal team is about to check into a haunted hotel, published by Paranormal Boys in December of 2021. When they first enter, they find everything in disarray. They sit down around the table, and it sounds like something has joined them. As they're using their paranormal devices, they hear a strange breathing sound, and then another unexplained noise. Oh, what? Oh, oh, did you hear that? No? Has someone taken a room at this haunted hotel? If so, they may never leave. There's a demon in the cellar in this video from Dark Ghost Paranormal. As Dennis is peering into a stone storage cellar, he first hears its moan. Back in the house, some terrifying sounds start to reverberate through his radio.
And then Dennis is confronted by something unseen. After that terrifying instance, this happens. Then whole pieces of furniture start to move. And it doesn't stop there. After Dennis tries to get out of there, he goes to pick up something off the ground. That's when all heck breaks loose. Later, Dennis leaves an infrared camera inside the house and heads outside. This is what he captures. Then this happens. You can literally see the demon on camera moving the crib and then breaking the wardrobe doors. What is this evil? All I know is, it's not something I'd want to encounter face to face. A paranormal team led by Derek Reese sits around the old family room of a haunted house in an undisclosed location. One of them must be sensitive to spirits because he asks them if they feel anything and maybe he accidentally channels something into the room. Oh my god, don't mess with me please. No, I'm not. You can see everyone except for one person when the knock happens, but her hands are in her lap under a pillow, so no, it's not her. Later on, they are looking at old videos when two visual artifacts appear. One is pink and one is green, and neither of them will go away no matter what they try. And that's when they hear creepy singing and a deep voice say something like, get away from the door. The audio is pretty low quality, but what do you hear? It's a dreary and overcast day when a YouTuber named Sharby straps a GoPro on his head and heads into an abandoned graveyard with his friends. This eerie graveyard is surrounded by woods and is in the middle of nowhere as Sharby puts it and they are hoping to find some adventure. They are checking out old headstones and goofing off when a frightening discovery suddenly changes the mood. What? Is that a knife, dude? It appears to be a rusty old crowbar that was perhaps used to dig up graves. Both Sharby and his friend instantly get a bad feeling, and Sharby throws it to the ground, suddenly wanting nothing to do with the ancient object. They keep exploring and eventually come across a grave from 1811. The unshakable feeling of dread just won't go away and suddenly it begins to snow, which is very odd weather for October. Not too far away, they discovered a battered doll and get seriously freaked out by its mere presence. Okay, yo, let's get the f out of here, man. 
Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, okay, that's it. Some branches snap in the nearby woods and they quickly flee before they can find out what was near them. A member of the Urban Ghosts Urban Exploration Team goes to a church that he believes has been taken over by a great evil. Watch this part and tell me if he kicks something nearby or not. Last time I was... Oh. About three minutes later, he hears this noise coming from somewhere outside. It doesn't sound like an animal, and it certainly doesn't sound like a person. So is this a ghost? Outside, all of the lights are now on, when hardly any were before. Supernatural or just a timer. And one last thing, while walking around the perimeter, he chances upon this creature staring back at him through the window with red eyes. But since another red light is caught in the very next window over, I think it could just be the reflection of brakes from nearby traffic. The Drake Low Tunnels in the United Kingdom was a classified nuclear bunker that mysteriously closed down from 1993. Almost no records of this place exist, but three men were once buried alive in a tunnel collapse. Shadow people are said to have been seen here ever since, and the Ouija brothers do capture some strange activity on camera, like this pitch black anomaly at 8 minutes and 45 seconds for example. Example. Is this a black spirit orb or just a wall stain? Walk towards my voice. And a minute earlier, they catch this passing white apparition against the wall. Could you make yourself known? The timing of the appearance in relation to the question is quite abnormal, but is it paranormal? I think so. A scary video from Albany looks like creepy things are about to happen at night, but when Mike Lice takes the camera to the window, you can see a big problem. It's the middle of the day, possibly the last for him and his family as a terrible change looms in the sky. What happens next haunts them forever. At 9.16, a tree almost connects with the side of their house. The only thing that saved them were winds blowing slightly away from their home. When so much scary stuff happens to you at once, there really is only one reaction. I'm sure they were expecting to capture some scary moments on camera, but nothing like this. Almost losing your home, whether you actually did in the end or not, is one of the scariest things imaginable. Here's a question for this video. Human or mutant? Published by Mr. Illusion. I truly hope that this is an illusion. The scary video shows a creature with a very human-like face curled up on the floor. Its body, however, is not human. It's small and extremely hairy with hooved limbs and sharp talons. I wouldn't want to run into this horror in the wild, and I'm pretty sure 83% of people wouldn't either. Only 17% can handle it. This video seems like just an image of a gator at the start, with its jaw wide open, staring blankly, completely motionless. But it's not a photo. That becomes clear when the camera zooms in closer to the gator's eye, and it starts backing up angrily, its jaw even wider. Then it goes berserk in the tunnel, clamoring towards the camera. Until the camera pulls away, the gator then approaches slowly, biting on a cord. After backing away again, the camera approaches the wide mouth, sharp-toothed creature once more. 
the eyes, the scales, the teeth. There's nothing about this that isn't chilling to the core. But what is a camera doing up close and personal down in a sewer anyway? Mike Kruger in the comments section of this video seems pretty knowledgeable on the subject. He wrote that the camera was doing a condition assessment of the storm sewer. He noted that behind the alligator, you can see the swamp. The tired gator simply clambered into the pipe to have a sewer nap, that is, until his nap was so rudely interrupted. Something is active in this quiet home. Published by Memoria Sobrenatural Inc. in April of 2022, the paranormal investigator searches this haunted place, and it seems like an unknown entity is searching him right back. And then the entity grows aggressive after coming across stacked chairs in one of the rooms. They collapse before the man's very eyes. He then witnesses a faucet turn on by itself. It flows full blast. As the ghost hunter tries to catch some sleep, what looks like a mattress falls against the wall. Later, he encounters this shadow figure in the hallway, and then another lurking in the corner of a room. Is something hiding in this curtain behind him? Before you start to panic, nah, just go ahead and panic. It's the time for it. Something's cooking in this kitchen. Published by Sasha180683 in December of 2012, a poltergeist is startling this haunted resident. As the resident enters, a curtain that's hung in front of a washer and dryer keeps fluttering. Then a cupboard pushes open on its own, one of its doors thudding against the stove. The door swings closed and open, moving uncannily. The curtain again moves strangely around and then back to the cupboard door. The cameraman slowly backs out of the room and then moves forward again, getting a closer look at the cupboard door and the curtain. No strings and the window isn't open. He shows the camera that it's 2 a.m. After closing the cupboard again, the door swings open and the curtain plays around a bit more. What invisible energy powers this kitchen? A poltergeist would be my guess. Okay, so I'm in an abandoned house and there are like Blair Witch things hanging up here and I'm going up here 100%. Okay. A YouTuber named Commander Holly came across this strange cottage while hiking with her aunt in Ireland. The first floor is mostly just crumbling stone architecture, but Commander Holly looks up and sees strange ornaments hanging in the attic. At the top of a worn ladder, she finds an entire room full of things used for strange rituals and various incantations. So here's the circle we found. I wish this was a joke, but it's not. There's like a, an amazing like triangle above it and another one. In the center of the room is a hanging decoration with faded pictures of various saints. And in the corner is a book of pure black magic. Commander Holly eagerly flips through its pages and decides to take it home to study, but I'm not so sure if that's a good idea. Let me know if you would have done the same, or if you would leave it be. After all, who knows what secrets are inside, or who may come looking for it. I'm gonna save a kid out of a trunk right now. He locked himself in. When a YouTuber named David Nugan hears noise coming from the trunk of a car, he discovers a young boy has accidentally locked themselves inside. It's a hot summer day and the kid needs to be rescued immediately, so David wastes no time breaking out a window and reaching inside. He scrambles to find a button that will pop the trunk. They are sure that the child is severely dehydrated and there is not a second to lose. Finally, the trunk unlocks and a scared child comes stumbling out. You can see his hair and shirt are drenched in sweat, and he is certainly not faking any of this, even though he appears to be alright for now. I still would have taken him for medical attention just to be safe. Let me know what you would have done next based on what you've seen. 
and thankfully this man was nearby to save the day. Do shadows have a life of their own? Posted to the r slash ghosts subreddit, be forever unknown 54's friend captured this strange anomaly on a home security camera. The footage, taken on January 21st, 2022, at around 11 p.m., shows a strange shadow shift in the kitchen with no known source casting its movement. According to the Redditor, there is no window or skylight in the area. The light source you see on the video is from the kitchen light overhead. This is what the kitchen looks like in the daytime. The Redditor writes, The way the shadow seems to float from above the countertop to the ground is just very strange to me. Some in the comments think a cabinet either fell open or shut, but the Redditor notes that, combined with other unexplained events in the home, this seems suspicious. She writes, They've had various things happen over time. There's been orbs, stuff falling over walls, animals reacting to the noises or visuals, etc. Is this just part of the same paranormal trend? The evidence does seem to be mounting. A family in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania sees something that is so incredible that they have to stop what they are doing and start recording. There's nothing far. You see what I'm saying? What's that? What is that? Tree? No. Right there. See? Uh huh. Strange, shimmering spots appear out of nowhere and seem to float above the meadow and nearby forest floor. For a moment, they think that it could be other people, but whatever they are seeing is floating around everywhere, even in the trees. Many people who watch this video think that these are ghostly soldiers from the Civil War marching in single file lines just like they did on the day of their demise. Others think that this could be flashlights from hikers, though this really doesn't look like a flashlight to me. I would definitely like to hear what you think is causing this scenario. This eerie video has me doing a double take, published by Spot You Like in April of 2008. This scary clip is filmed outside the stunning New York minister. The bells are ringing and the cameraman is taking it all in. He scans the cathedral and then starts walking toward it. A shot later, he is continuing on his way down a narrow shop lane. While the bells continue to sound, shops line either side of the street. But watch what happens in the upper window to the left. The cameraman zooms in on the ghostly pale face of a small child looking out the window. The child's eyes are dark and inky, and its face mask-like. As the camera zooms, the child disappears. The uploader notes that the house is called the Belfry and was built in the 17th century. Some in the comments claim to have stayed there and say that it has seriously spooky vibes. Is this the thing putting out those vibes? I'd say it's a pretty good chance. A YouTuber named Monster Mike Fishing may have landed his biggest catch yet, and it's nowhere near the ocean. His friend Jacob plugs the pipe so that their target can't escape, but now he has to reach into the murky waters to pull it out by hand. As soon as he announces that he's okay, this happens. Are you okay? I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. No! Oh my god! At 6 minutes and 12 seconds, the snake opens its mouth, and Jacob is barely able to hang on with one hand. He almost drops it and then quickly catches it again before it has a chance to attack. Now Jacob grapples with the snake and they wrestle to a stalemate. He can't hold this position much longer and calls to his friends, I need, I need help! Only when he is pulled out of the sewer do they realize how massive this reptile really is and how much danger he was truly in and how risky this truly was. There's a scary cemetery in this Egyptian neighborhood that is said to be haunted only on the quietest of nights. Mustafa Nabil goes exploring the haunted place at an early hour with his friends. In front of the cemetery gate stands a tall and silent figure guarding the outside. They immediately cut the paranormal exploration short and just want to go home, but the mysterious figure is not going to let them off that easily. It seems like they are blocked at every turn. Something looks at them from around the corner and sends them running down random streets to get away. 
They are out of breath and about to slow down to regroup when they see the spirit has somehow teleported ahead of them and brought back up. They have to keep moving and stay out of sight. There are many winding alleyways to go through, but they feel constantly watched and far from safe as they are relentlessly followed down every path. At 8 minutes and 24 seconds, they think they are safe and finally slow down. None of them see a supernatural figure watching them from the shadows. The video ends, but it seems their paranormal plight is far from over. A piece of the graveyard has committed itself to following them home. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Hunting the Haunted, this redditor wrote, The haunted Frank Lloyd Wright house in Florida. This place has always been active. Check out the full video over on our YouTube channel. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. I just let an orb fly by toward you. What was that? What was that? I heard something. That sounded like it was in the kitchen. That sounded like it was on top of the roof. Guys, is there something here with us? We are not alone. We can hear you walking. I heard something. Well, it certainly seems like the spirits that reside in this home are active. I guess it really makes no difference who the architect of a home is in the eyes of a spirit. My theory is the spirits here are trying to scare this paranormal team into never returning again. This abandoned prison castle was built in 1865 and was used to house all types of scary people. It was a transitory prison before sending prisoners to hard labor or exile. Now it apparently houses actual ghosts. Published by Toppy in November of 2021, these paranormal investigators went to visit the dark and mysterious place. Here is what they found. Outside, they walk around the wall where lives were ended. Then they head inside. The investigator notes that they say they've heard some coughing. Inside the cells, they listen but hear nothing. They come across strange windows, perhaps built for ventilation, lockable slots, likely to deliver food to the inmates, and a shower room. In one hallway, they find this figure, posed like a statue. We aren't sure what its story is, but it towers over the place like it's floating. At one point, a strange, unexplained noise is recorded as they're talking, and another sound is heard, like blowing on metal. They also hear a door bang at a distance, They say they feel like they're not alone here. Perhaps they aren't, but is their company alive or paranormal? The next time you shower, don't look up. Published by Tia Bassi in March of 2022, this creepy video shows what could be the hair in your drain come to life. The clip shows a shower curtain pulled to the side, while up in the corner near the ceiling is this extraterrestrial-like critter. It looks spidery, but with even more legs than usual. It somehow also looks like a great pile of tangled hair. What do you think this is? I think it's time to throw the whole house away. A UFO appears to burn in midair as it stalls directly over Area 51 in front of plenty of witnesses. I think this video is probably CGI because the smoke almost looks like it could be a looping animation. But if anything like this were to ever happen on Earth, Area 51 is where it would most likely take place, so I'm not entirely discounting the legitimacy of this video. 
posted to the r slash chills narrator subreddit. Nick Chocolate 19 posted two videos from the same night on a doorbell cam. The redditor writes, On January 10th, 2022, at approximately 9pm that night, my family noticed something weird on the doorbell camera. The orb-like item kept coming into view and setting off the security alerts all night long. Any idea what this could have been? An orb can be seen floating on the right-hand side, and it doesn't appear to be going anywhere. The redditor posted a second video writing, I posted a video yesterday about an orb on my doorbell cam. I'm posting another video because I want to show it couldn't be something like a helicopter. This is from 6.08am. It did this all night from 9pm. The fact that the orb was visible all night makes it less likely that it's just a camera glitch in my opinion. What do you think this is? Maxime is on a mission to communicate with the spirits in this house. Published by Realized Alterna in April of 2022 and originally published by YouTuber Paranormal Point, this ghost hunter may have made contact with the fiery depths below. As he begins his session at night, something begins to play the piano. A doll is mentioned through the spirit box, and outside this window he sees creepy glowing eyes. When he asks about the doll, he is simply told to find her, and find her he does. He asks what the doll's name is, and receives a scary answer. He is told to do a ritual with the doll. As he's told it's dangerous here, he hears strange screams. <sighs> he later lights the doll ablaze as part of the ritual. As he does, it raises its arm by itself. Is there anything more terrifying than this? Here's hoping the demon was exercised. In 1974, Disneyland opened up a new attraction called America Sings, where robotic animals would sing together as one. Animatronics was a relatively new technology at the time, and this footage was taken just weeks after the attraction debuted. Yankee Doodle liked the South, sang their songs so dear, thought they were most elegant for everyone to hear. The show is going as planned until a loud interruption happens just seconds after the lights go down. What you just heard was supposedly the final screams of a Disneyland employee named Deborah Stone. Deborah was an announcer for America Sings, and she passed away after accidentally stepping into a powerful mechanical device used to rotate the walls of the theater. Apparently, Deborah's demise is a true story, but I can't tell if this scream was really hers or added in later. The scream itself does sound a little too clear to me, and possibly sounds like it was recorded using modern equipment, but I'm definitely not an expert in this department. If you think this scream was real, then be sure to let me know how you can tell. No one's getting any sleep in this room tonight. Published by AMA Media Channel in April of 2022, a woman is trying to catch some Z's in bed when a poltergeist takes over the room. First, it causes this baby swing to jerk around erratically, which wakes the woman up. She gets up and holds it still, which it is for a moment, but then it starts to swing like crazy again. The woman seems to think it's the wind. She checks the window. When the chair is still again, something flies from off the top of the wardrobe. A moment later, the closet door creaks open and then swings open further. The baby swing starts moving briefly. A moment later, something creepy appears in the mirror of the wardrobe door. What is it? But I'd guess that it's what's causing all the chaos. As we've seen in past videos, animals often see things that we don't, and sometimes that can send chills down our spine. 
published YouTube in January of 2018 by the Bram Fam. The video starts out tame as the Bram Fam picks up a doghouse from the store. They each go about their day doing various things for the vlog, but once Bram T is home with her daughter, she starts hearing things inside the house. The uploader notes that their dog Milo started acting super spooked, staring in the hallway and outside their balcony. As you can see, the dog appears on high alert, unmoving and staring out into the darkness. He is then captured staring out into the hallway. When Louie finally returns home, Bramty says she finally felt relieved. Do you think this dog was sensing something or someone in the home? Should they, as Bramty suggested, have the house blessed? That way it hopefully be cleansed. Rain and Geno of Sinister RP return to finish a paranormal grudge, one that began at the cemetery, a haunted apartment that they are left with. Three days ago is when they went exploring here for the first time, the Boyd Cemetery, somewhere in Canada. That's when a ghost decided that if they wanted to explore its home, then it's only fair to explore theirs. Later that night, they are able to make spiritual contact by using a ghost hunting app. The creepy conversation does not go well. Can you tell me your name? If there is anything following me, you are not allowed to anymore. The voice of a ghost named Ernest is followed by the sarcastic voice of a little ghost girl who says too bad at the very notion of banishing them. Ernest too sounds sarcastic when he says goodbye. I said goodbye. Their replies occur in real time and make sense so they could have been actual EVPs from the other side. Rain and Geno are not the type to be intimidated in their own home, and so they bravely return to the cemetery three days later for a final showdown, but the ghost voices only mock her as she scorns and warns them. Please do not follow us home. You are not allowed to follow us home. You are not allowed to attach yourselves to us or anything that we have here. We are going now. Goodbye. The spirits don't sound very convinced, and as they back out of the Boyd Cemetery in silence, they think they catch a glimpse of a fiendish figure crouching behind a marker, perhaps old Ernest himself. That's not part of the architecture in my opinion, It only looks more supernatural and creepy when you zoom in. Perhaps coming back here has done more harm than good. Sinister RP believes they have caught a real ghost sighting caught on camera. Tell me if you agree with their paranormal evidence, or if you have an alternative explanation. YouTuber exploring with Josh spent the night in this building, one of the UK's most haunted hospitals. It's called the Bonnie Garth Workhouse slash Asylum. Up to 300 people lost their lives in or died. Or 300 died people couldn't lie. At first, the explorers scare each other. Yes, I bet. No one got my reaction. Dude. But later they discover it's not each other they should be afraid of. You can let me know. I'm gonna keep going. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, okay. You ready? After receiving that confirmation, they get a verbal one as well. Or is there more like you here? More. You like us. According to the spirit's communication, there are more like him around. Did one of these others touch stuff? We're back in the dark. We're finding the stairs. Uh, something just f***ing touched Yo. my back. Yo, chill, chill, Jesus. chill. For real? I swear to f***, bro. Dude, I'm telling you this one. I believe the spirit when he says he's not alone. 
The fact that multiple devices were triggered when the spirit was questioned makes me think this isn't just coincidence. Something is residing here. This creepy selfie photo bomb is making my skin crawl. Posted on TikTok by WINIRGTA, this woman is taking a selfie in the mirror. When something freaky enters the picture, a small toddler sized figure toddles past behind the woman but does not reappear on the other side of her. The figure moves fast and looks to be a slightly grayish tinge. Is this just the woman's younger sibling making an unexpected cameo? Or does she have a supernatural elf on her hands? This creepy video is what happens when you go ghost hunting around Ireland's haunted woods of Newton Abbey. Kelly, did you hear the word Amber? I don't hear anything, but I do see a strange mist has been caught on camera. Paranormal, I'd say, because it doesn't look like their breath. It happens twice, here at 26 seconds and again at 28 seconds. I hear they have a lot of foggy weather in Ireland, so maybe this is a small patch of fog they've caught on camera instead of a ghost. But let's face it, they get creeped out in the scary part of the woods known to be haunted, stop to record, and then capture some strange sightings on tape. So maybe this is a paranormal ghost video. The next time you're getting inked up, you'd best beware the angry poltergeists that may haunt the place. Posted to the ghost subreddit by Little Bo, the uploader explains that the ghost in their studio is becoming increasingly aggressive, particularly targeting men. The video shows the ghost in action as the artist is preparing to give a customer some ink. Several things literally launch from the nearby shelf, falling down on the artist who covers his head. In the comments, the OP says the items that were thrown were a bottle and a Bluetooth speaker. It seems this is not a unique thing for studios. A Redditor mentions their 100-year-old studio's poltergeist is quite active as well. He writes, If you're in the basement, you can hear people walking above you, even if there's no one there, and just a general sense of dread. Once I was there alone after hours drawing, and the phone rang three times, and then read line in use as if someone picked up the phone, I refused to be there alone. The OP responds that the doorbell of their studio also goes off a lot without anyone entering, as they call such events their phantom no-show clients. Is this angry ghost one of their phantom no-shows? We can only guess. Smallmouth Crush is making a fishing video on the Potomac River near Washington, D.C. He's drifting by when further down the riverbank something strange catches his eye. A head is sticking out of the water, long black hair, her back is to him. He looks at the head for a long time, unable to mentally process what he's seeing and not sure what to do. He gives the object a poke just to make sure it is what he fears. It has a face and it is exactly what he's afraid of. I think we are all thinking it's the same thing, especially from this distance. But when he pokes at it some more, an artificial neck joint pops free from the mud. This is a mannequin head, not a real one. Dude, what is happening? Look at this thing. This is nasty. Not finding a body is a relief, I suppose, but it also begs the question as to why anyone would take a blindfolded mannequin head out into the woods in the first place. I've heard of people simulating their demented desires onto mannequins before moving on to the real thing as part of their transformation into a full-blown psycho. There's a lot of creepy people out there, I guess. And to further prove my point, he looks up to find something even more sickening nearby. Look at that freaky thing. I'm out of here. It looks like somebody has been using this spot to do some pretty twisted fantasizing. And as he speeds away, I can't help but wonder what if that's not a doll? Everyone knows you must drive defensively when you're on a motorcycle. After all, there's nothing between you and the pavement except whatever you're wearing and a helmet. But sometimes, no matter how defensively you drive, you learn how little others value your life. Delta 394 learned that in July of 2017, when he published a video of his encounter with a crazy driver. 
In the video description, he explained, Guy in the blue Fiat Panda tries running into me while cutting across lanes. I wasn't having any of it. Decided I would confront him in the supermarket car park. And he did confront the man. All of which was caught on camera. Do you know how to use lanes, you prick? It's not you. It's not you. You smashed my bloody thing. Why don't you see where you're going? Why don't you go in the right place? I'm, I'm on the left in the right place. place. The man claims the biker smashed his mirror. Well, the biker claims he almost ran him over. As it turns out, the Fiat driver didn't like how the biker was driving, frequently slowing down and speeding up again. The biker then questioned what was more important, the man's mirror or his life. Most in the comments section seemed to agree that the Fiat man deserved every bit of that confrontation. Who is in the wrong here? What do you think? Maxime is on a mission to communicate with the spirits in this house. Published by Realized Alterna in April of 2022, and originally published by YouTuber Paranormal Point, this ghost hunter may have made contact with the fiery depths below. As he begins his session at night, something begins to play the piano. <laughs> A doll is mentioned through the spirit box, and outside this window he sees creepy glowing eyes. When he asks about the doll, he is simply told to find her, and find her he does. He asks what the doll's name is, and receives a scary answer. He is told to do a ritual with the doll, as he's told it's dangerous here. He hears strange screams. He later lights the doll ablaze as part of the ritual. As he does, it raises its arm by itself. Is there anything more terrifying than this? Here's hoping the demon was exercised. Two men go into an internet cafe early in the morning with a few pro tools and the worst of intentions. Hardly anyone is there and even if the place were busy, it wouldn't matter because they've got their routine down to a science. They pick two seats midway down so as not to look obvious. One of them acts like they're going online, but what he's really doing is helping to cover the movements of his friend, who has already unscrewed the casing of the computer, and is now working on the floor bolts that are holding it down. There's a wall on his side, so if you worked there, it would be like he was digging through a backpack or something. Something walks by them at 28 seconds and is too busy on their phone to notice what they're up to. They act like they are looking at something on the same screen as the entire uncased computer gets put into a large plastic bag. They put the empty computer case back to make it look like nothing is out of place. They can't just walk out of there with a big obvious computer shaped plastic bag. So they take it into the bathroom and dismantle the computer for valuable spare parts and throw the rest in the trash. The clerk has no idea what they've done, not even glancing up as they briskly walk out with top of the line video cards, RAM, and other hardware to sell. Clearly, this isn't their first time, but this time they were caught on camera. In this lost tape, some young punks are playing around with a brown paper bag, throwing it at each other before they go to plant it on the doorstep of a stranger. Once it's placed there and lit, one of the punks knocks on the door and races away, while the old man homeowner opens the door to find it flaming there and stomps it out. It probably didn't seem so funny when the men attempted to prank him for a second time. This time, the old man comes after them and they just manage to escape, but the third time's a charm. When the prank is attempted a third time, the man is waiting for them. He peers down through the curtains of the door window, whips open the door to strike the young guy on the head, and then drags him into the house. When the two others go to investigate, they videotape the front hallway where the old man is seen leaving into the next room. They then head around the outside of the house and into the backyard. That's where they meet their maker. No other information on what happened next could be found.
Thank you so much for getting me to 30,000 subscribers here on my clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 40,000 subscribers next. Thank you.